Hello, welcome to irgbay.com, the internet retro game database. Okay, so today, just quick look at the top three and manic. This one got the new ship, also this one, but only got one gig of RAM. And this one have the metal case, okay? <coughs> now, this one also have touch screen, and also can boot up with Android. And that's bringing us to the problem with this one, when it's only have one gig, it does not have a built-in Android, but the issue is, I was trying to fix it with the other video, but the issue is, you should not boot or charge or put in a charge cable on the DC input when you don't have any system on. Okay, at the moment I've got Arc OS A R K OS. Excuse me. A R K O S, okay? So if you have no system, your LED light will not come on and it will go into freeze mode because it's a safety feature that you should not turn on the machine without an operating system or a firmware, okay? So you need to have something in TF1 slot okay now if you don't have any card or any firmware here it will not charge okay the LED light will not come on to fix it the quick fix is put the system back in and hit reset whole reset for a couple seconds and it should turn on okay I was incorrectly giving out wrong information yesterday that you need both cards in there to charge uh, you can leave the TF cards two out you just need the TF card one okay now if the reset does not work you have to go a little bit more um, to fix right you need to unscrew this four screw with a uh, number seven hex right open the back case up unplug the battery okay you have to unplug the battery to reset and you can then put the card back in and power on or if the battery doesn't have any charge then it will let you charge it okay so i assume it's the safety feature that's why in that model they have put in some kind of android on a chip so that even though if you boot up with no tf card it will go straight into android i'll show you okay so let's take the card out Taking the card out, and if I boot, it should go to Android. Or maybe I need to take both card out. Ah, no, yeah. So, without the system. <laughs> firmware card on TF1 will go straight into Android this one will go to nowhere okay but it's I think it's a safety feature I don't think it's a fault so and then with Android you can do touch screen you know and everything okay now he said uh, can read the FD card now to turn off Android all you need to do is just hold the 
hold the power button and make it go off. Um, but to so Android is uh, actually a safety feature, you know, because you can't boot without any OS, right? So you either have one built in or you must have the cards in. So that was uh, either a design flaw on the RG503 and they fix it on the RG353P, okay? So the UOS, both Android and Linux. Android is built in, Linux is on the card. So now let me try boot this one with the With the card inside, now I'm not gonna show you. Oops, I'm not gonna show you how I make that not working. You just have to take my word for it because it's a hassle to open it up. Um, but yeah, so at least I'll give you some information. You can try the reset, hold the reset for for about five ten seconds. Um, make sure you have the card in. Uh, the, the Linux card um, so this one boot straight into Linux okay to turn off this one you need to go menu down shut down okay so with Linux you need to power it down properly because otherwise your TF card may get corrupt so this one only one gig of RAM but better screen okay much much better screen um, so you if you play PSP let's try um, what do I have on here Ultraman okay um, and I'll turn that one on as well and I'll compare I'll compare the PSP on the big screen, the five inch screen, and I'll compare it um, to the three and a half inch screen on the 353. Now I don't have Ultraman on this one yet, but that's okay. Now also this one have the vertical arcade, I love that because you can do the same here with the retro arc the only problem is you need to configure the button this one is already pre-configured now can i see psp here psp will it load pretty sure i got taken to five working there so maybe i should bring the same game up okay so this one will have the bar on the top and the bottom I think no it's actually squash that's shit so on this one it's actually going to come out widescreen okay put this here So that's the good feature of the 503, but you know, one less design. So, but everything else you play on this, you'll get a bar on the side, you know, so you can't win. That's why I got both. Now, this one I still reckon is better because I got it for 110 Australian dollars that's nearly half the price so this one I paid 200 Australian for a better website okay. Of it. Be careful, so you see it all flush. Huh? Hey. So let me just 
cho đến Every character is all square. This one is down a bit. Okay. Yeah. So that's it for this video. So please do not boot this one up or try to charge it without the system card in there. Okay. It is very very complicated to reset it you know if you're lucky holding down the reset button will fix it if not you have to open up the case and plug the battery okay thank you for watching bye bye